info for our first poll here. The question is favorite chopper point form. Me personally, I'm rocking with Kung Fu point. That's my favorite point right now, but uh, monster point is so whack now. It used to be cool pre time skip, but not anymore, honestly. I agree on the monster point sentiment for sure. My own personal pick here, I voted for horn point. I think it's just like, it's cool. Like, it kind of looks like he has some mm. agility to him. You know, he can move around. And for the comments, we have Ryan Red who says, Kung Fu is just goofy in a mediocre way. Heavy is wacky in a good way. Horn looks good, but monster is just on another level. Just to be clear, I mean pre-time skip monster point. Okay, as long as long as you mean pre-time skip monster point, yeah. then, then that's cool. But post times get no sir that is, is that's horrible <laughs> but i i like kung fu point i don't know why people don't like it i think it's kind of cool and for the next poll we have which antagonist here would you want to see return to the story most the pre time skip villains they were cool but I honestly i don't have like an itch for them to come back for real but i picked the game it was a bandwagon pick i'm gonna keep it a buck with you like i just i don't really have yeah. a strong stance on this one like they're cool characters and all but they don't gotta come back i'm gonna have to agree it's okay if none of these characters come back like, i'm absolutely okay with that but if i had it like choose i'd probably go captain and Kuro, but that being said, it's like I'm indifferent about it for the most part. Yeah, same. In the comments here, we have Keja Baro who said Gin wasn't even evil, and um, it's really good that nobody said that. You know, good thing we said antagonist. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> tried it not to say <laughs> an attempt was made yeah I, I rate it personally for this poll we have favorite one piece anime art style here the winners 2019 i can't really disagree with this you know i mean the animation is just getting better in fact there's no reason to really disagree with that though i you know i am a fan of like you know 2006 animation i was rocking with that as well the animation is just getting like greater each time yeah it's literally the same exact thing that you said really yeah no the poll's looking pretty much on point yeah and for the comments we have radies 45 and he says 1999 was so funny and the jokes hit so hard that was fire you know the the canon moments i was i was rocking with it the animation can play a big role in the jokes so i can see what he means by that because like when i think of wano animation i don't think of oh man this art style makes the jokes really funny like actually yeah, i can kind of see what he means like the older art style kind of makes the jokes a little better and for this poll we have which is the best way to experience one piece here with these results i actually do pretty much agree right but let me say that i read the manga right we both do right so yeah we read the manga week to week and everything we caught up experiencing the anime and stuff and i gotta say like i couldn't imagine reading the manga and getting acquainted with the series like that over the anime like it's just when you combine the soundtracks and all the emotional moments like i have to say that the anime is the way to go especially pre-time skip i definitely agree with those points you know the anime is able to show things that the manga just isn't able to show that being said the experience of like being there week to week for the manga is also like great as well you know i don't blame anyone for picking anything like any of these answers like they're both good answers but the anime is like definitely the best way to experience it especially once it's all said and done in the comments here we have julio melendez and they say i have no doubt that the manga is better but they only watch the anime so i don't know so to that comment where wano is at in the anime is pretty much like the perfect time to just read the manga like it's a perfectly fine read to catch up now i like reading week to week it's it's so much better than watching the anime week to week like i i promise you literally but uh you know it's up to you man it's up to you and now this poll here the question is saddest one piece backstory here ironically the person with the least amount of votes should be the winner yeah in our in our, in our opinion you know law only having 15 percent is kind of crazy you know robin's backstory was sad but it did get nerfed in terms of sadness you know spoilers about that but uh, i'm not rocking with it personally 100 percent agree here when you break down everything here what makes it so sad is that she lost people she loved law did that robin was being hunted down law was hunted down as well you could even add in the fact that she was by herself which law was oh, as well yeah so, you know she that. lost her home but so did law yep. <laughs> same, thing. same thing yeah law has everything that robin has and more law had a terminal disease at a young age <laughs> spawn killed right off the jump that is way more extreme he has a yeah. vest full of grenades on he's suicidal like this guy <laughs> this is insane and he saw them all dead like that's tough like seeing them robin dead didn't is... even have to see most he of them he didn't have to see most of it that's what she didn't have to see most of it and then after all the things we just said if you're comparing brooke to that i don't know what to tell you <laughs> I, don't. I, like, I don't like you're trolling at that point you're I trolling don't. at that point it's insane and you know what's crazy? <laughs> you know what's crazy? They're, They're still gonna do it. <laughs> we just broke down why you should be <laughs> the highest. highest spawn killed. They're still gonna disagree. <laughs> They're gonna be like, no, Broke was so sad. Whatever, dude. They need to rewatch that again. Straight up. If they rewatch again, it's like, they're still gonna disagree. I don't care. They're gonna I'm not gonna lie. I might have to edit this down really short because I wanna just do the same thing with Brooke. We need to <laughs> dispel these demons. <laughs> we need to dispel these 
No, nah, really quick, really quick. Law and Brooke. We're going to break down Law and Brooke as well. Glow for Bar, yeah. whatever. For sadness, okay? What makes Brooke's backstory sad? He's on a ship with his crewmates and he has to pretty much watch them die. Mind you, this is after he's lived a full happy life with yep. them. It's not even like he's a kid and then like all this stuff happens. Like he's lived a full life. I'll admit that makes it sadder because it's like he's known them for longer and stuff. But, but it's like if you really think about it, that's how normal life works. You live a full life and then people start to go. Law didn't even get the chance and then he saw them die anyway. Wait. We can even go to how Brooke died. You could make the argument that the way Brooke dies is pretty painful, or you could say it's sad. Mm. It's because he dies from like natural causes, like he not natural causes, but like he dies from starvation and stuff like that. That's pretty yeah. painful. True. Law has a disease as well, so it's like you can even even that out. So now you're evening yeah. out these things that Brooke had to experience with Law. But at the end of the day, Law just has more. He just had zero breaks. His entire backstory. And for the comments, we have Exotic who says Brooke, then Law, then Robin, then Sanji. Th I. I, it's like Brooke is not he's not he doesn't have the saddest backstory here it's too much for my brain I just I don't understand it we I respect just, your opinion but yeah yeah and for this poll, we have favorite devil fruit design here. No, I like this poll. You know, it's a fun one. It's cool. I voted for the Jiki Jiki because it looks really different. Like it hardly looks like a fruit. That's pretty much my whole reasoning. Uh, yeah, I rock with it. That's a great point. Like definitely it's the most visually appealing. The way I scaled it is like, how much would I want to eat it? Huh? Like just by the way it looks. It's not what the poll kind of asked, but that's the way I based it. And I definitely would go with like the op op. Like that would definitely eat that one first if i saw all of them and here in the comments we have quack terminator who said clearly the deformed orange is the best one see that's what i'm saying a deformed orange like it's not that good like this is this is kind of insane fan behavior it, it's like deformed. it doesn't look like that great compared to like the other ones that's mm. what i'm saying like he knows what i'm talking about he knows what i'm talking about this poll the question is best d joke here pause down these stairs one and i'm cool with that you know that one's really funny to me because like it's not even a person down these stairs is like hilarious kandi oriano is like really low hear me out though i picked i picked that one because like it was such a stretch they went through so many lengths to make that work <laughs> which is why it cracks me up they did so much like kandi oriano like that is so dumb well i picked down these stairs i'm actually surprised that it won i thought it was going to be like a three-way really close race between the first three options here but surprisingly enough down these stairs took the whole thing and i am not unhappy with the results and from inu fan 2005 we have we are terrible people <laughs> it definitely seems that way but you know i'm pretty sure everyone loves Queena, right like it is sad that she died but you gotta admit it's kind yeah. of kind of goofy the way they presented her death yeah getting one tapped by stairs is uh that's tough and for this one we have when do you tell people one piece gets good i actually like this question a lot mm -hmm. i think it's really interesting to see where people would actually say that one piece gets good but ironically enough i actually don't really subscribe to any of these answers i don't really mm -hmm. go around saying that one piece gets good at a certain point with that mindset i voted for start so i don't really have an opinion on like uh the mm -hmm. results but yeah i mean i like all of these so yeah for me it was a sort of a different case it honestly took me to alabasta to really get interested that's when it started to get like insanely cool i was like yo then that after that point i was locked in that's why i went with alabasta for this poll. all right in the comments we have king ripzard and he said i enjoy the start of one piece but i don't think it starts showing what it's capable of until baratier with the introduction of mihawk and how hyped up the grand line is along park was the first s tier arc in my opinion and alabasta was when we got the first big great saga finisher the alabasta finisher was sick that was so dope for me so yeah i agree with that brought to you that was cool too that was all right i wasn't really locked in yet but it was cool this poll right here we have least favorite one piece arc here fishman island one as the least favorite and i feel like that's the objective right answer like out of all the four here like i could i was like eh. i would say that like having it lowest rank makes sense but i think you can enjoy it more if you really just think of it as like a showcase arc they're just showing off their powers they got like after two years of training you know yeah that's true and then we also get lots of lore on top of it just being a showcase arc we get like stuff about joy boy which is super relevant in the manga now once you really yeah. reevaluate it like that i think you can enjoy it a little bit more and we have a comment from shadowball that says all of these arcs i like except skypea it has a pretty good villain even though i hardly see him like that i actually don't really like enru why don't you like enru <laughs> i think he has like one of the cooler logias i like the way he was designed as well you can't be wrong for an opinion but i thought enru was pretty cool he was made to look bad because it was a bad matchup or whatever against luffy but 
I'm not going to really blame him for that. And for the last poll, we have favorite epic Luffy moment here. I'm actually surprised. I'm actually surprised by these results. Mm. I had no idea Saba Odi Return would take the cake here. My vote personally, it'd probably have to be Dragon Punch. I'm not going to lie. It's just like oh, yeah. the way they animated it. And then the amount of weight they put behind this scene is immense. When we saw Zoro about to cut down a Celestial Dragon, Body had to jump in there and stop him because it was that big of a deal. And then Luffy yeah. just does it. Personally, I think the versus Adam Admiral's moment should be last. It looked cool, but it's like he had no shot. Uh, I would, I'd hardly call it even an epic Luffy moment. He was extreme diffing like a log that like he threw himself. The animation was cool, but I think that one should be last. And in the comments here, we have Ly who says, "Want to live was more Robin, but Saba Odi return was so sick." And that's that's kind of true, you know. That's like an iconic Robin moment. But Luffy is the one who kind of you know started yeah. it. So yeah, <laughs> if he didn't ask her to say that, then she probably wouldn't have said it <laughs> ended the arc yeah <laughs> and it just ends right there it's just done <laughs> they just stare at each other it's like the end but That's yeah great. the saba odi return i can understand it right after two years he comes back and he's just stunning on the pacifistas the kuma when he split up the crew think of him yeah. and now you see that he's destroying these you know machines created after him with ease and it's like yeah he made a lot of growth yeah it was super cool to see so i'm not upset about this at all once again we just like to thank you guys so much for 300 subs you know we say this all the time but it's like we literally couldn't do this without you guys at all so we just want to thank you for that and we're gonna do our best to keep pushing out content for you guys stuff like that um and all we can really say is like you know road to 400 you know <laughs> I have to i have to emphasize we read every single comment there's no comment on the channel that we haven't read before not once yeah that's you actually know, true <laughs> so yeah please add your opinion we want to know we can yeah there's there's two of us we have we have the time to see all these comments there's two of us literally and even if you disagree and also you know we don't, we don't do this a lot quick plug for the uh instagram and tiktok we have instagram and tiktok they're popping they're both popping uh you know check over there if you know you don't really use youtube that often or something or if you just go on tiktok and you're addicted or something you can go on there yes MB sir crew. <laughs> MB crew. MB crew. MB crew. well bye